Death Years 3 is Red Hook, postcard from a living hell. No idea how I backed into this one. Kerrang, possibly? At any rate, this horror-obsessed Australian four-piece create a genre-defying potpourri of punk sneer and pop melodicism swirled with occasional snappy electronics. Surfing Svengali producer Stevie Knight dials down a bright, colorful mix with wall-of-sound tendencies that keep the listener guessing. Emmy Max, uber-melodic hooks, and psychotic raps are the backbone of the Red Hook sound, albeit combined with hard-hitting power chords and sprightly programming from Craig Wilkinson and the occasional saxophone solo bounding out of nowhere. Lyrics are smart and topical, and the tunes are consistent fodder for crowd surfing. The alt-pop duet Mac performs with Josh Raven of Perth Rockers' The Fame may be the greatest song that Avril Lavigne never wrote. The bubbling trade-off between the two, a variable hook orgy. But this is no sweet pop affair. Cuts like the raging off with your head and the riffy psych versus psych pack plenty of power chord laced aggression. Low budget horror may be the disc's most brilliant, taking on our collective obsession with filming atrocities, sporting razor sharp wit in lines like poor mental health is an excuse I can't acquit for being such a piece of shit. Clever, enthralling, and unique. Postcard from a Living Hell is an album that continues to yield reward listen after addictive listen. A surprisingly hard-hitting debut in a year rife with great alt rock and metal. Okay, let's play a song. This is Low Budget Horror. This is the Snaggletooth Rock and Roll Podcast. (laughs) 